Yeg, Alberta's capital city, also known as the gateway to Canada's north, home of the largest mall in North America, the Oilers, some metal balls, and our very own University of Alberta. That begs the question. Some selective aspects to focus on are its culture, economic prosperity, and quality of life for Hamiltonians. Now, as many of us are aware, our city feels lacking in many areas compared to other metropolitan areas in Canada. After all, it's aptly named Edmonton by the rest of Canada for a good reason. Most big cities are defined by the quality of their downtown area. That is to say, improving their aesthetics and attractions can go a long way in enhancing the city's image. This begs the question. How might we create a more enticing urban culture that attracts locals in downtown Edmonton, including newcomers? Despite being a relatively barren city of over 1.5 million metropolitan residents, we do have some local births. One of the positives of Great Edmonton is the extensive diversity. 40% of the general population of Edmonton identifies as a musical minority. We believe that diversity is a key component for the city's vibrancy. There are many different cultures and innovations that are born. Areas such as White Pass are hot spots for cultural diversity ethnic restaurants, grocery stores, cafes, and bars. Another positive of living in Edmonton is its affordable cost of living and housing, ranking top three nationwide in rent prices. Now, where to begin with our city's many shortcomings? For starters, our crime index rate is among the highest in the country, and it's increasing every single year. Going hand in hand is our homelessness rate, which unsurprisingly also tops the charts. Furthermore, Edmonton's infrastructure has been very poorly managed for well over a decade now, with perpetual construction sites plaguing our city sites. Initially, when pondering upon various solutions to these key issues, we considered methods for ease of access via public transportation, as well as building more attractions for tourism and economic growth. However, we ultimately took a different approach. Restaurants provide a critical role to the city's identity. They serve as cultural hotspots for a diverse range we advocate for additional support for local restaurants. Our plan is to urge the municipal government to provide small businesses with the resources they need to sustainably operate in this difficult climate and efficiently contribute to this economy. If small businesses are encouraged to prosper, more competition will be generated, thus resulting in lower prices for consumers and drawing more people into the downtown scene. What we propose is for the city leaders to aid local businesses by sponsoring a union for Edmonton's restaurant owners. Organizing such an association, however, could possibly take a couple of years for the motion to be passed through the municipality, and a few years thereafter to come to fruition and for its effects to be noticed by the people. There are a couple of things to keep in mind. We are assuming that there are many local restaurant owners willing to cooperate in this matter. Likewise, there will be plenty who are unwilling to work with their competition. Consequently, this is one of the many logistical issues to consider prior to setting this project in motion. Depending on the size of the local business, the income they earn will vary. That being said, the tax rate for small businesses in Canada is only about 12%, which is generous compared to the larger scale corporations, which can be taxed up to 27%. In the long run, the money local businesses will make will far outweigh their initial fixed costs in the short run when done efficiently. Generating a more even playing field for restaurants and small businesses will allow them to operate more efficiently, maintain competition in their respective markets, and provide goods and services which are useful for all Edmontonians. Ultimately, a competitive market should enhance the restaurant scene in downtown Edmonton. This will in turn attract more Albertans to come down and make the trip, enjoy the food, and contribute to the local economy. With the food industry becoming more diverse and popular as ever, Additional opportunities for fun family activities, such as street festivals, will emerge, resulting in a constantly flourishing community in our city. Say yes to YAG!